all right all right what's going on party people this your man griff hey quick video here just to tell you about what happened to me yesterday i tell you it was a trip at least to me it was and to my witness because my witness you know i had to bring a witness there for this signing so have this signing things yesterday and i'll talk about it later in the fritter friday it was a little more details about what went down um for us my day yesterday um but man I get to the signing and it was already running late because they didn't have the documents together. It's supposed to be at nine, ended up being 1130. Me and the witness get there. <clears throat> we walk upstairs, go into the place and greet the person. Hey, how you doing? Good. I'm the notary. Just, you know, the, um, the, the witness. We sit down at the table and I pull all my gear out to start, you know, um, you know, so I can record the IDs and all of that. In, in the log book and take a picture of the ID like I'm normally supposed to, like we supposed to, to provide back to the title company. And so I asked this, you know, the gentleman says, so I need your ID so I can take a, you know, um, make a copy of it for them as well as enter it into the log book. And he said, well, I need to see both of y'all IDs. I'm like, okay, you know, so I figured that, you know, basically he just, wanted to see my id just to make sure that i was who i say i was so i'm like okay you know i'm like all right cool but no this is what he did i show my id he grabs it and starts trying to take it away from me and i'm like i'm like oh what's going on there little fella i'm like you know that didn't say little fella so but you know that's what i'm saying i'm like, I'm like and i said to him, I said, oh, okay what's going on here sir well i need to make a copy of your ids just in case something goes down with this deal you know um, things don't go right. I need your IDs. I'm like, what do you mean? I said, the only thing that could go wrong with this deal is that between you and them, the numbers aren't right. I said, so that ain't got nothing to do with me, nor the witness. So you don't need to make copies of our IDs. You know, I'm sorry. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm a car salesman. And whenever I meet with customers, and do do business and transactions with them i make a copy of their id and they have a copy of mine which i don't think most customers get a copy of the car salesman id but i said we'll go with what he's saying i said okay well thing is we're not trying to buy a house i mean a car you're buying a house we're not a car salesman this isn't a car transaction so what's the deal here man he's like well that's the way i do things I said, okay, that's cool, but you're not getting a copy of my ID just for your own personal keepsake record. You know, I'm like, mm, that ain't happening. And he was hot. He was like, no, very privileged person, privileged. And I was like, you're going to do what I say. And I was like, no, nah, we're not having that. And the only thing he kept out of his mouth was the word B O Y. So I was like, come on. I was like, no. So I said, well, sir, the only reason why things go bad again, something wrong with the numbers. Here's the documents. Why don't you review the documents first? So he looks at them and I said, and if you don't want us to take a, you know, want me to take a picture of your ID, no problem. We'll just contact the title company. You can coordinate with them. So he's like, okay. Starts so reviewing the documents. The next thing I know, he hops on the phone and starts snitching. Yeah, the notary won't let me take a picture of his ID or the witness ID. And I want to take a picture of him because, you know, I need to know who I'm dealing with. And they're like, you know who you're dealing with, the notary. What's the concern? Well, I'm a car salesman and I always take pictures of IDs. And they're like, but we have all of the contact information for the notary. So you don't need to take a picture of his ID. You can hear them through the phone, you know. And I'm just sitting there and I'm looking at the witness and the witness looking at me like, what in the world is going on here? And I actually started packing. I was like, you know what? If he, if he says one more time that you, that I have to show him, I'm out, I'm out. The documents weren't prepped. So I was like, I just have to just leave both sets there and y'all can send another note. Cause I was getting ready to call the signing company. Like, yo, yup. I said, look, the documents aren't prepped cause they came late. So I didn't prep anything. I'll leave both sets here. Y'all can get another notary here who's willing to give him a copy of the ID. You know, if that's what y'all want. If you want me to take the copy with me, I'll take it with me. And I'll just meet the notary around the corner at a Starbucks or somewhere. 
and hand them the documents and then they can come over here and do that because we we're we not doing this here i said this is creepy i don't know and i was really concerned for the witness because i was like why is he getting all aggressive you know and i was like we're not having that today so they told him they like you don't need that sir and you could tell the way he was like felt real defeated like okay i mean okay that's just not the way i do things and i'm like and see this is what you don't i don't like is when people try to trap you into doing stuff they have an idea or they know what they want but then they don't tell you prior to you coming and then you get there and it's like you're gonna do this and i'm like i ain't doing jack I'm like i don't know who you are and what your problem is but that ain't happening you know because i don't see any justification for it you know especially when you say your justification is that the deal might go south and i said the only thing that i could do to make this thing go bad is to improperly notarize and that ain't happening so where's the issue at plus you know later on i mean now we got the signing done he acquiesced it and i told him i said if you don't want me to take pictures of your id just say so no, that's fine. I'm fine with it. And I guess to try to like, well, I'm fine with doing you doing it. So you should be fine with me. And I'm like, it ain't happening. <laughs> Not happening. So I do it, upload it, deleted it off my phone and got through the signing and bounced on up out of there. That was the only this has been the only time where things really, really got tense between me and a signer. And the sad part is, is that more than likely. He didn't act that way with the other people who the people who he borrowed the money from, the title, you know, the, lend, the lender or the title company. And I guarantee you that he didn't request their ID. But all of a sudden he wanted my ID. You know, it's like, why do you need my ID and the witness ID? I'm like, no, you're not just going to have my ID in, in, in your little cubbyhole back here. You know, who knows what you got going on now? I know some of you are going to say, well, see, that's why I just have my little my ID from, um, you know, from Office Max that I made up. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all with that. But still, you're not going to take pictures of my ID for just some like record like you want to keep off to the side somewhere. And he primarily primary, he wanted the driver's license. That's the thing. He wanted driver's license. He didn't want just some some ID badge that you went to Office Max and got done. He wanted driver's license. And I was like. Mm -mm. so you got to you know and does it now this doesn't mean for everybody to start having a clubhouse talking about notary safety and all of that no okay we don't had enough of those okay we know you don't even need the room we already know how to be safe and i don't think he was going to try to jack somebody up or anything but it was just really 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 weird you know that he was demanding this and i got the vibe that it was just us he wanted it from and he wasn't putting that demand i hadn't put that demand on the people who he's borrowing all this money for from to buy a house that he probably hadn't even seen you see what i'm saying so i was like this this doesn't seem right you know whatsoever you know and just the vibe with, that came from him was very very disrespectful you know most people would turn their music down he had this music blasting in there and i'm like okay Got this loud music blasting, all this. I'm like, very, very distracting in environment. So now, again, this isn't to say you don't go out here and do this business, but you know, you got to be willing to stand up for yourself. And I'm glad that I had that order because I would hate for a new notary and a lot of new notaries I know in this area. I would hate for y'all to be in that situation and feel forced to give somebody your ID. OK, that you had to do that. First thing you need to do is get on, get online with the title company and sign a company and all that, because once he said, now I already knew I wasn't going to do it. But if you iffy, then you and what I did was when he once he started telling on me, I sent a message to the signing company, told them what was going on. The signing company sent a message to the title company and everything. And I'm very proud of the signing company because they didn't freak out and start calling me and. And trying to make me acquiesce and you know like what well, we'll just do it you know you know just to get the deal done i'm very glad that didn't happen you know because some signing companies will be like well we'll just do it you know I'm, I'm sure other notaries do it too no 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 that ain't the way it works so the signing company kudos to them 
for their um support and all that but you get in situations like that you can walk away you can call the signing company title company all of that and be like yo what's going on with this person okay did y'all give him y'all ids and they're gonna all say well no he, he didn't ask for ours so why are you asking for mine so use common sense keep your emotions out of it it's hard it's hard to keep your emotions calm but keep your emotions out of it and stay focused get the job done that's what counts that's what matters and the people who you who's paying you will be happy for you know happy that you did your job and hopefully they will support you know doing things the correct way and other than that i'm good so nobody got hurt nothing it wasn't no life threatening anything just a very uncomfortable situation but i just wanted to share this with y'all so y'all can see that sometimes things get a little weird out there with these signers and stuff. And I know ladies, you're like, well, see, that's why I want to go and do mobile note. I want to be in a title office. To be honest, if a person is going to, if a person has issues and got little quirks about themselves, I'm telling you, it don't matter whether you're in a public place, private place, wherever title office, they can get a little wild. Okay. I'm just saying, okay. People can do it, but don't be afraid to do this job. It's the thing is, don't be afraid to stand up for yourself, okay? I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.